Hello everybody, this is Akiyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Hasbro Marvel Legends, the Thor Love and Thunder Wave, uh, the Cork Pillar Figure Wave, uh, the Gore Action Figure. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll take a look at the packaging. As usual, it's a standard Marvel Legends window display packaging. Here we have the uh, very funky, uh, colorful Thor Love and Thunder logo. And here's the Gore figure. And this is the Cork Pillar Figure Wave. And here is all the figures from this wave. You just need six figures to complete the Korg uh, figure. And here's a little read up. If you so wish, you guys can pause and read it. And here's a little animated uh, photo of Gore. Cool. Move that to the side. Let's focus on the figure. This is the Gore. And this is uh, the core build figure pieces. One of the legs, left right leg. Very colorful. Uh, I don't have any intention to complete the core bill of vigor because uh, I'm not very interested. Besides, I already have the original one uh, from, you know, from the two packs. So I'm not really excited about this. And also, in my opinion, I know this this set is cool among a lot of the collectors, especially if they're Thor fans. And also, for those who are excited about the Thor uh, Love and Thunder upcoming movie, um, yeah, I think it's also very diverse. It's a complete uh, MCU wave. So I'm sure there's a lot of collectors chasing after these figures and they love it. Uh, but in my opinion, I think this is one of the weaker waves uh, in Marvel Legends. I feel like every Marvel Legends wave they've released this year, majority of them are considered pretty um, weak. Uh, if you see how, ma how many Marvel Legends sitting sitting. Uh, at the shelves at different retail stores, I think you can guess, right? And no exception with this this particular wave as well. So I don't have any plan or intention to um, pick up the entire wave. Um, but I am very interested in the Gore figure. That's why I picked up this figure. Um, all right, here is the Gore figure. I think um, the character design, I think it's interesting. It's very pale, very simple. It's just gray and like like some sort of white, you know, like creamy white with dirt on it. Uh, it's very simple and subtle design, you know, nothing special, nothing crazy about this character. And also, I, I, I don't know who um, Gore is. Of course, I read up a little bit online um, on the background of Gore. Of course, how he looks from the, the, uh, the comics is completely different than how he looks, uh, you know, in this uh, particular design. But um, I, 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 I'm interested to find out more about Gore, uh, Gore from the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder movie. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, the reason I picked up this figure is I do feel like this is very alien-like, you know, which it's something that I like. I like to collect very alien-like characters. And I feel like uh, the whole mood or the expression of, of this figure is very cold. Uh, it's like he does not see any future you know, he is just here to to take out all of the happiness in the world. You know, that sort of mood going on. I feel like that's pretty cool in terms of a villain, in terms of a character I feel like will be the main villain in the upcoming movie. I feel like, I mean, just looking at this character design, the look, um, I mean, I can tell this guy's going to be a badass, you know, or do something horrible. Um Yet, I feel like Hasbro did a great job on the sculpting. Um, I I mean, I have collected a lot of Marvel Legends. I mean, I'm not a diehard Marvel Legend collector, but I do collect uh, many Marvel Legends uh, on the on the characters or on the uh, figure that I do like. Um, I feel like they went extra mile on this figure. Maybe because they, they, they save up a lot of money on the coloring, you know, so they focus more on the uh, sculpting. Um, as to all the scars, like, I feel like this figure is amazing in terms of scars. And they also painted all the scars. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take out the cave so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, you know, like, I feel like all the scars here, they even painted the scars on the back, which I don't think this is that co common, you know? Um, and then all the scars on the her uh, on, on the on the scale here, all these like purple veins, veins um, and then the expression on the eyes, all those details, like very small details, I feel like they went extra mile on it. I feel like this is one of the best sculpting. Um, or yeah, I just feel like 
this figure it's pretty cool if you look at it that way and also the texture uh or, or, and different different um the texture of the of the figure you know like the, from the body to up uh, the clothing you know it, it's really different and also they went extra mile on the dirt going through the body which is cool i mean there's nothing much going on under peas and i'm not a fan of rubbery skirts that hinders articulation also looks ugly like in order for you to do something they have to they purposely cut off both both ends so you can you know have little articulation but this looks really ugly like what do you see like in reality the skirts they have cutouts like this right i, I hated these designs it would be best they gave us, you know, um, real cloth material pieces. Um, I know it's cost, it's more costly. I mean, why don't they just give us a deluxe figure, you know, or something like that. But um, yeah, uh, this is probably the most things that I don't like about this figure or any figure that Marvel Legends released is these rubbery skirts. But yeah, um, I feel like this figure has a lot to offer, but uh. Maybe it's not everyone's favorite, but I do find this figure very unique. Uh, therefore, that's when I pick up this figure. And here's a cape. I mean, not a cape. Yeah, the cape. Um, it's, of course, a robbery material. I, I, I'm fine with it in this case. You know, it's it doesn't hurt me much. But uh, the skirt, I just hated the skirt piece. Uh, but yeah, for those who know how to do custom-made figures, maybe you guys can do something about it. I'm very sure. In terms of accessories, that's another thing uh, this figure is lacking. There's no alternative hands, which, you know, um, Marvel Legends have been giving out extra hands for many figures, but not this figure. But uh, it does include a black sword. Um, I forgot the name of it. I did read a little bit online. Um, I think this sword is very powerful. And um, I feel like they went extra mile on the paint apps as well. Although it's all black and just with the brown on the handle. But uh, I feel like the, um, it came out really nice. And uh, yeah, also... Uh, they painted all the uh, fingernails, uh, all the fingers. I feel like that is unique. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not like wow, wow figure, but I do find this figure is the most distinct one or the most unique one from this wave or from all the figures they've released in the past for MCU figures. That's why I decided to pick up this figure. I mean, if I am to pick up another figure from the wave, maybe I'll pick up the crew. You know, I, I really not really interested in the other figures. I feel like sooner or later they're gonna release other exclusive or limited edition or Target exclusive, Amazon exclusive, Walmart exclusive figures that has to do with Thor and Mighty Thor. So I'm really not <laughs> in a rush to pick up these figures. I feel like there's gonna be a better one, or deluxe versions or two packs going on. Uh, and probably going to be even more accurate versions. So yeah, what, what I learned from collecting Marvel Legends in these years is I'm no longer like eager to really want to collect any Marvel Legends. Uh, like, oh, I see this character. I, I love this movie. Let's grab it. Because they always revisit um, the same characters in figure forms. And they ended up making a better figure, an improved figure, um, or a more value pa packs, you know, with more accessories, more uh, interchangeable hands or faces or head. Um, yeah, I feel like just wait a little bit. Maybe I can, I will come up with a better figure. And also nowadays, really, Marvel Legends is not that hard to get. Um, you know, online, it's plant, it, they're available. Uh, the availability is pretty, pretty, pretty open, pretty available. But yeah, here is my uh, quick review of the uh, Gore figure from the Marvel Legends Thor and Thunder. Uh, Quark, uh build a figure wave i think i will give this figure an eight out of ten um i do like all the character design here i like how subtle and simple but very alien like and that is some, just something i like to collect alien like characters um the two points minus the minus two points definitely given out to the skirts that skirt piece is horrible i know there's people having problems standing this figure as you can see i have no problems standing this figure this is just a normal poster and I've tried to play with it off camera and I have no problem posting this figure or, I mean, of course the lower half of the body is hindered, but what I mean is there, this figure has no problem standing. I feel like maybe uh, there are some bad QC issues with some of the figure. That's why they couldn't really stand up. I've seen people uh, on YouTube uh, complaining about this or online, but uh, 
my figure doesn't have any issue on that and all my all the joints on my figure is pretty sturdy and you know uh, they're not loose or anything like that so that is something uh, a thankful thing so yeah here is my review uh, of this figure thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye